Dennis Cruz! All right, let's give it up for Alex, telling all those funny jokes. So oh, let's give it up for Alex. Let's keep it going, people. Come on. Supposed to be having fun today. I'll tell you, I was not having fun the other day when I was at my doctor's office. I was in the waiting room. They had one of those drug advertisements, you know, bright, flowery wall hangings. It asked a simple question. It said, what's keeping you from what you love? I could only think of one answer, laws. <laughs> but, I, but I see my doctor and I tell her, doc, I finally quit smoking cigarettes. She says, that's great. You got the best years of your life ahead of you. Funny man that I am. I say, yep, all three of them. <laughs> Still looking at my chart and without missing a beat, she says, maybe. Now, in all my years of dealing with doctors, you know, there's one thing I've learned. They're people. And while they are highly educated, they're not always the best optimists. You know, when the doctor says, in six to eight months, it's going to get aggressive. The only thought in my head is, challenge accepted. <laughs> and, and, you know, for the last five years, I've had six months to live. And I've been declared dead twice. So doctors, not always right. And, and, you know, but it's hard to get a second opinion when you're in a coma. <laughs> and, and unless I've been living as a zombie, someone got it wrong. Although, your, your brains look rather tasty. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you know, and when your partner asks you 10 times in an hour, are you okay? You, you, you start to wonder. <laughs> and I'm not adverse to trying different things to extend my life. Blood of a virgin, <laughs> eye of newt, maybe even kale. <laughs> and, and I do find it curious though that the more food is tampered with, the less it costs. You know, you pay more for natural, organic foods. It's like the corporations are giving you a discount for being a part of their chemical trial. <laughs> Here, eat this. It's got a shelf life of 50 years. Doesn't that mean I don't have to eat it? <laughs> as, as I get older, you know, you do start to wonder what comes next. And I was raised Roman Catholic, but I studied a lot of the religions. And I, none of them make sense to me. <laughs> it, they, they all just seem a little too child-centric. You know, one group wants to mutilate the kid, the other one wants to just fondle him. <laughs> I, I, a little more about me, I'm half Irish, half Native American. My grandmother, she learned early on the only way to get off the reservation was to marry the white, right man. <laughs> and so you take the two worst stereotypes of that ancestry. Here we go. <laughs> I love to drink. I just don't have the genetics to do it well. <laughs> You've heard the term angry drunk. I'm angry sober. I'm a total asshole till I get a drink in me. <laughs> then I'm a real nice guy. <laughs> you know, I used to think uh, drinking made me more creative. The more I drank, you know, the more creative I got at finding ways to get more alcohol. <laughs> and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to leave you with this before I go. Um, scientists have linked the bacteria in gingivitis to Alzheimer's. So make sure you call your dentist before you forget. I'm Dennis, that's my time. <laughs>